Hey, what's up guys, Dopeslutter930 here, and I wanted to make a quick little update video for you guys on some Xbox 360 modding news that has come out. I'm actually kind of dressed up semi-nice because I'm going out to a dinner with the family right now, and I don't know when I'll be able to record another video for you guys um, and sit down here because I got some stuff going on tomorrow with family as well with the holidays, so I wanted to at least hammer out a couple of new things that came out in the modding scene. Um, as always, this stuff is available on my website, dopespawner.com, um, which is a place where I post anything I find important. You can find my latest videos and contact me and stuff like that, and uh, I post literally everything I talk about in my videos there before I actually get a chance to sit down here, you know, and look into the camera and make a video for you guys. So it's a really good way to stay on top of anything that I find out in terms of uh, modding and any other news at all. So, sorry about that. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, first thing that came out was a tutorial was released for dumping your Xbox One's games. Uh, this was released over at LogicSunrise.com, which I believe, I don't know if it's a completely French form, but it looked like, from what I remember, the text was in French, which doesn't do us very much good. However, there is plugins for Google Chrome that does translate like that, so you can either go that route, um, or I don't know if someone's dubbed the tutorial into English by this point. Um, but pretty much what I wrote on my website about it was that a user by the name of Swizzy has been able to dump an Xbox One and create a tutorial over at Logic Sunrise on how to do so, and then I link you guys. So, um, yeah, again, I don't I don't know how great of news this is necessarily at the moment because there's no way to write custom firmware to your Xbox One's disk drive, at least that hasn't been publicly released. Um, so you can't play backup uh, Blu-rays, and um, there's no like X key for the Xbox One right now. So. Uh, you know, when that does come out, this is going to be a great thing to have. We already know how to dump the games for it, so we can just continue on um, and, you know, make our backups and use our X keys and stuff, or, you know, whatever comes out for the Xbox One. Um, but for the time being, it's not really going to do us too much crazy craziness right now. So that's one thing. Um, second thing is GTuner version 2.10 and firmware version 1.41 was released for the Cronus Max. Um, I have no idea what GTuner is. I would imagine that's probably the software from Cronus Max team that you use to map your buttons and stuff like that for your Cronus Max. Uh, again, I've never owned a Cronus Max. Um, and if you don't know what a Cronus Max is, it's like a uh, adapter that allows you to use your controllers for cross-platform. So like this release they just came out with now allows you to use your wireless PS4 controller on your Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS3, or PC. Really cool. Um, I've used some similar devices in the past on like the Xbox 360 and the uh, PS3, but this one, based off the videos, again, I haven't been able to use one myself. I would like to down the line. Um, it looks a lot better. It looks a lot more high quality. It looks a lot more um, just functional, really. And I know that Team Executor was kind of backing this. It looked like on their website, so I don't know if it's kind of an entity of theirs or if it's not. But you know, typically if they're going to put their name behind something or put their stuff on it, it's going to be at least pretty decent. So that was released. There's tons of changes in the change log. I don't want to get into it. Again, if you follow the link in the description, it will go ahead and take you over to my site where you can read up more on it or go to the original news source. Uh, lastly, on Team Executor's website, this was just released today, actually. Um, Team Executor released like a picture tutorial on how to read and write your Xbox One's NAND. Um, like they always do, they have really high-res images on their website. But also, kind of something was there was a uh, kind of a, a picture of a PCB board that was being used to read and write to the Xbox One's NAND. Um, so it seems that Team Executor is actually either completed or is in the works of creating a read and write board. Um, for the Xbox One, which I imagine, you know, would make it easier than having to... I don't know right now how you do it. I don't know if you use a Nandex. I haven't really... I think you do use a Nandex. I haven't really looked into it all that much, though. Or you don't. I, I don't know. I, I haven't looked into it. I don't have an Xbox One, so I haven't been able to strip one apart and, you know, get into all that good stuff. Um, but, kind of, uh, Team Executor left us with a little bit of a teaser, and someone on the website posted saying... Um, you know, this is all kind of, kind of something along the lines of this, like, oh, this is all, you know, cool, fun and dandy, but there's nothing to write to the Xbox One yet. Like, no, you know, hacked files or anything like that. Um, An Executor responds saying, maybe not for you there isn't, with a wink face. And Team Executor loves doing that. They're great at keeping us, you know, game nerds on the edge of our seats and all of us, like, modders. And they, they just give us a little bit, they feed us a little bit at a time, keeping us coming back for more, keeping us hyped up. So... Um, this could be complete horseshit, and maybe, you know, Team Executor doesn't really have anything crazy that they're going on behind the scenes. 
I don't know that. This is just speculation. They're the only ones that know that, so maybe they do, and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping they do. That'd be totally awesome if something comes out in the following, you know, months, even shit, in the next six months, I'd be stoked, because that's really soon in the console's lifespan to have an exploit, but, you know, with the hype from the Xbox 360 scene, and I feel like how big the homebrew and just, you know, modding scene has gotten with these last generation of consoles, um, they've got much bigger teams, I would I would imagine, and just more people taking a crack at it. So hopefully, sooner than later, we will have an exploit for the Xbox One. So that's that. Um, and last, lastly, just a little bit of uh, news on my giveaway. If you guys didn't know, I'm doing a giveaway for a DS1 flash cart. Um, I made a video about this like three videos ago. Um, this is still going on through tomorrow, so if you haven't entered in, be sure to do so. If you don't know how to, check the video. Again, it's like three videos back. Um, I will be announcing the, vi uh, the winner hopefully tomorrow night. Um, if I'm not home super, super, super late. If not, then Saturday for sure, and I will get the next giveaway going because I'm doing a weekly giveaway. So, I'm out of breath and I'm going to dinner, but hopefully this was uh, helpful and you know informative to some of you guys. And as until I see you next time, thanks for watching, guys. What's up guys, don't forget to check out dopesweater.com to find out more about anything I talked about in this video. To stay up to date with the latest modding news, there's any other news I find important, as well as to check out my latest videos. Peace!